what you're saying is when we make this substance in a, an industrial factory, it's the exact same thing as a glutamate in our food. That's really what they're saying. The truth is they're completely different. You see, when they make it in a lab or a factory, you're breaking down this amino acid into its basic free state. So in other words, when you consume this free glutamate, it goes into your bloodstream like a rocket ship, like eight to 10 times faster then if you were to get glutamate in a whole food, your body would naturally break it down. I mean, this is the same argument that they use with high fructose corn syrup. Fructose is the same in high fructose corn syrup as it is in fruit, but it's not. And this is how addictions are created. So the other loophole that they use with MSG, if there's less than a half of a gram, they don't have to list it on the label as MSG. So how much MSG are we really consuming? Well, those facts and figures that I mentioned are just the listing of MSG, not the hidden MSG. We're probably consuming a lot more MSG, but it's really hard to determine that because I don't know if anyone's tracking it. But when you see ingredients like hydrolyzed vegetable protein and even natural flavorings can have this hidden glutamate. So there's many different ways to camouflage this free glutamate, but this is the thing in the food that just makes it intensified. It, the flavor is amazing, but it's all geared to trick you. That's what the whole game is about. So what types of foods are very high in this monosodium glutamate? Instant noodles, like ramen noodles, like cup noodles. You know, the stuff that I used to live on in college. 